A couplet is a pair of successive lines of meter in poetry. A couplet usually consists of two successive lines that rhyme and have the same meter. A couplet may be formal or run on. In a formal couplet, each of the two lines is end stopped, implying that there is a grammatical pause at the end of a line of verse. In a run on couplet, the meaning of the first line continues to the second. The word couplet comes from the French word meaning two pieces of iron riveted or hinged together. The term couplet was first used to describe successive lines of verse in Sir P. Sidney's Arcadia in 1590, in singing some short couplets, where two the one half beginning, the other half should answer. While couplets traditionally rhyme, not all do. Poems may use white space to mark out couplets if they do not rhyme. Couplets in iambic pentameter are called heroic couplets. John Dryden in the 17th century and Alexander Pope in the 18th century were both well known for their writing in heroic couplets. The poetic epigram is also in the couplet form. Couplets can also appear as part of more complex rhyme schemes, such as sonnets. Rhyming couplets are one of the simplest rhyme schemes in poetry. Because the rhyme comes so quickly, it tends to call attention to itself. Good rhyming couplets tend to explode as both the rhyme and the idea come to a quick close in two lines. Here are some examples of rhyming couplets where the sense as well as the sound rhymes, on the other hand, because rhyming couplets have such a predictable rhyme scheme, they can feel artificial and plotting. Here is a Pope parody of the predictable rhymes of his era, regular rhyme was not originally a feature of English poetry, Old English verse came in metrically paired units somewhat analogous to couplets. But constructed according to alliterative verse principles. The rhyming couplet entered English verse in the early Middle English period through the imitation of medieval Latin and Old French models. The earliest surviving examples are a metrical paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer in short line couplets, and the poem on morale in septenary couplets, both dating from the 12th century. Rhyming couplets were often used in Middle English and early modern English poetry. Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, for instance, is predominantly written in rhyming couplets, and Chaucer also incorporated a concluding couplet into his rhyme royal stanza. Similarly, Shakespearean sonnets often employ rhyming couplets at the end to emphasize the theme. Take one of Shakespeare's most famous sonnets, Sonnet 18, for example, in the late 17th century and early 18th century English rhyming couplets achieved the zenith of their prestige in English verse. In the popularity of heroic couplets, the heroic couplet was used by famous poets for ambitious translations of revered classical texts, for instance, in John Dryden's translation of the Aeneid and in Alexander Pope's translation of the Iliad. Though poets still sometimes write in couplets, the form fell somewhat from favor in English in the 20th century. Contemporary poets writing in English sometimes prefer unrhymed couplets, distinguished by layout rather than by matching sounds. A Chinese couplet on doorway Chinese couplets or contrapuntal couplets may be seen on doorways in Chinese communities worldwide. Couplets displayed as part of the Chinese New Year festival, on the first morning of the New Year, are called Chunlian. These are usually purchased at a market a few days before and glued to the doorframe. The text of the couplets is often traditional and contains hopes for prosperity. Other Chunlian reflect more recent concerns. For example, the CCTV New Year's Gala usually promotes couplets reflecting current political themes in mainland China. Some Chinese couplets may consist of two lines of four characters each. Couplets are read from top to bottom where the first line starts from the right. But is also a six-word diagraph with 19 lines a choral couplet on display inside a Chennai metro train Tamil literature contains some of the best-known examples of ancient couplet poetry. The Tamil language has a rich and refined grammar for couplet poetry, and the sticks in Tamil poetry follow the Venpameter. The most famous example for Tamil couplet poetry is the ancient Tamil moral text of the Tirakural, which contains a total of 1,330 couplets written in the Kural Venpameter from which the title of the work was derived centuries later. Each Kural couplet is made of exactly seven words, four in the first line and three in the second. The first word may rhyme with the fourth or the fifth word. Below is an example of a couplet, the American poet J. V. Cunningham was noted for many distichs included in the various forms of epigrams included in his poetry collections, as exampled here, Deep Summer and Time Passes. Sorrow wastes to a new sorrow. While time heals time hastes. Thanks for watching.